Once you've created some drawing views, you may need to go back and edit some of the parameters of those views to get your drawing to look exactly the way that you want. There's a couple of ways to do this. First, you can always go here to the Drawing Views ribbon panel and select the Edit View tool. This will allow you to simply click on the view itself, exposing this ribbon. Alternately, you could navigate to the view you wish to edit and double click it, and you'll arrive at the same ribbon control. Now, the types of parameters that can be edited you'll see here are things like view styles and scales. What's important to note is that everything is driven by the base view. And this base view is the very first view placed and then everything else was projected from it. So if you execute an edit in the base view, those edit changes will be cascaded into the other projected views. So if we were to change this to be a wireframe with hidden edges, then everything else would regenerate that way as well. If we were to change the scale, everything else would change. So let's just accept that change there for the, uh, the view style. Let's go ahead now and edit only this element and let's change its scale. So we notice that we're seeing the scale as being inherited from the parent, which is this base view. If we now go here and increase the scale of this view alone, and then accept the change with an enter, we see that we have a, a minor problem. The scale operation occurred correctly, of course, but we now have a formatting problem. So what we can do now is simply single click any of these views and use grip editing to move them over. And you'll notice what's happening here is that when I move the base view, the projected view on the top has to come along with it in order to maintain its alignment. And you'll see whenever you activate a gripping point on one of these drawing views, you'll see that you can break or repair alignment. If you were to break the alignment, you would be able to move the views independently. Now what I'll do is just bring this view over like this, and this will give me room to now move this isometric view down a little bit and fit it on the sheet more neatly. So it really is easy to work with these drawing views and edit their properties, either by editing the base view, which will propagate the editing changes you make over towards the projected views, or you can individually edit the view by double clicking on it, or finding the edit view tools here within the ribbon. So everything's straightforward, just try it out and before you know it, you'll be editing drawing views, no problem.